Hi all, in this video we will see the purpose of command task in Informatica. In Informatica to run shell commands or init commands we use this command task. This task will run during the workflow run. We can specify init commands in the command task to remove the rejected files or to move the files from one location to another location like FTP and creating a files and copy a file from one location to another location, renaming a file and archiving a file. So these are the main purposes of using command tasks. We can use any valid Unix commands or shell, shell scripts for Unix servers. And as well as for Windows servers, we can use dash commands and bash scripts. And in two ways in Informatica we can use command tasks. One is standalone command tasks. We can use a command task anywhere in the workflow or worklet to run the shell commands. This is nothing but a single command task. Here these are the few snapshots to create a command task. In tasks we have a option create and we can select the command as a task type and giving the name. Under Informatica workflow manager in task developer we can see our created command task. If we double click on it we can see its properties like in this we have three tasks one is general properties and commands under commands we will write our user defined commands like these commands are used to move files from one location to another location or renaming file like and here these are the options we have to create a command or copy a command or paste a command and using la these lock two arrows we can move command positions we can add, we can here we can add many number of commands like we can for each and every record we can use a single command and if we double click on this command it will open the editor so in this we will write our bash script or shell script here in this example here this command is used to copy a file from one location to another location and we have another option command fails and order of execution if a particular shell command fails to execute the command does run the remaining commands and shows the status has succeeded to change this behavior means one of the command fails to completely fail the complete task we have an option in the properties tab that is fail task if any command fails here this is the top attribute fail task if any command fails if you enable this the, com the complete session will fail if any, any one of the command fails and one more thing is the shell commands are executed in the order that we have specified in the command task and the next next one is pre and post session shell command these are exist in our session task in our session task under components tab we have these things like pre session command post session success command and post session failure command we have these things to write our shell command or bash commands in the session task here this is a picture regarding that here under components tab this is this is the session properties in this under components tab we have pre session command post session succeed command and post session failure command we can give respect to commands here by changing the type here we have three types one is none none means no command is specified and, and, and another two are reusable and non reusable for reusable we have to select the existing command task for non reusable we can give the hard coded command here for reusable type we are giving the command that we have created previously now we will implement the same in informatica here I have a mapping. This mapping loads a header table data into a target slot file. In SQL Server, we can see the header table data. I am opening SQL Server. I have header table in source database.
select awesome source dot dbo dot header so this is the header table data i have three records in header table i am loading this three records into a target plot file by default target plot file location is here informatica 9.0.1 server info shared and target files here the file will be located here i am removing the existing file now this is a session regarding that mapping so this is a workflow now i am running this workflow here session ran successfully in this folder we can see the target plot file it is just created so in this we have three records so now what i will do is i will copy this file from this location to another location on my local pc yeah now i will remove this file remove this file and copying this path in session properties under components tab here under mapping we can see the output file name is this one target underscore plot file one dot out and in components i am giving the post session success command this is a not i am giving it as non readable means i have to hard code the respective command here this is my windows machine and giving a bash command so by selecting this add a new command i am selecting a record i am changing the name as copy and for command i am writing as copy from source path and the file name is I have that file name. Target underscore flat file one dot out. I'm copying this to C drive. I'm saving the session. Yeah, now we'll run this task. start workflow here session ran successfully here the target underscore plot file one is created with the header data and the same file should be copied to c drive here this is the c drive and here the file is created Hello. means using Hello. windows command task i am copying target plot file from one location to another location in my pc so using ftp connection configuration we can copy the same file from one location to another network location for that we have to configure ftp connections yeah this is the another and using we can also use reusable task for reusable task we have to select the existing command task now i will create a new command task under task create selecting the command I'm giving the name as copy command. Done. We can create the same in Task Developer and in directly in Workflow Designer. If we create this in Task Developer, we can use the same for multiple mappings. Means multiple workflows. Yeah, now I will change it to tools, task developer, task, create, creating the command, giving the name as copy cmd, done. Yeah, now I will change the command properties. Under command tab, I am giving the new command. here i am changing the path to d drive okay here i have created a command task 
in our instrument ka workflow i am selecting this command task by using line task i am joining these two means after session run successfully the command task will be executed so here in components tab here in this command i am copying the target file to c drive and using the command task and copying the same to d drive we can also select the same one in under reusable if we select this reusable we have to select the existing command so i am not not changing this one here it's all about the ordering of the commands and tasks so if you place that command task here once the session runs successfully the command task will be executed instead of this giving a new command we can also select the command in components tab under by giving the type as reusable so here also once the session successfully completed the task will be executed and we have another properties like session failure once the session is failure we can also use the command task for copying the files or moving the files from one location to another location so i'm saving the session workflow and running the workflow in monitor we can observe session ran successfully and command task ran successfully so by using session and ca i'm copying the target file to c drive and by using command task i am copying the same file to d drive so in c drive the file will be overwrite yeah here the file is created target file this is here this target plot file one is created by using the command task properties means under session we have under components tab by using post session successful command that is mapped to c drive and another one is the command task that is mapped to d drive so under d drive the new file is created that is target file so the same data will be here so using this we can also using this command task we can also use different commands to archive the files to parse the files to move the files from one location to another locations or to rename the files so for windows machine we have to write the commands in bash or bash we have to write bash scripts or dash commands for unix linux machines we have to use shell scripts or unix commands this is the main purpose of command task in informatica thank you